let's talk about the annexation. So the media is hammering Israel on its plan to declare sovereignty over parts of Judea and Samaria. They call it the annexation plan. But in my opinion, there is nothing to annex here. Judea and Samaria are not Palestinian land. I'm a Jew. I'm standing in Judea and Samaria, where some of the most significant biblical events took place, where my Jewish ancestors are buried, where the Maccabees fought off the Romans, where ancient Jewish capitals have existed, Shomron and Hebron, where ancient Jewish scrolls were discovered in Qumran caves. Now tell me, where are the ancient Palestinian scrolls? Where are the Palestinian tombs and ancestors? It's funny how so many leaders are falling for the Palestinian propaganda and saying that annexation will destroy any possibility for a future peace plan. Are they serious? So the fact that Israel wants to declare sovereignty where there is a major Jewish population is an obstacle to peace, but a Palestinian leadership that incites hatred, pays terrorists, and encourages terror attacks is not an obstacle to peace? What is this hypocrisy? They are either blind or stupid. It's actually frightening to see leaders that care more about political correctness than about doing the right thing. They were elected in the first place to lead but instead they are being led by propaganda. I have said it before, there is nothing to annex in my opinion. The Jordan Valley is where the Israelites have crossed into the Promised Land about 3,000 years ago. Where were the Palestinians then? Or you know what? Maybe I'm exaggerating, you know, talking thousands of years, let's talk hundreds of years. Where were the Palestinians in 1869 when Mark Twain visited Israel when Jews were in exile and wrote, we never saw a human being on the whole route. There was hardly a tree or a shrub anywhere. Why only in 1948 when the Jews have returned home, started to restore the land, make the desert bloom, why only then suddenly a group of people woke up and is now claiming the land. Why didn't they build it before? Where were they? This is complete hypocrisy. Listen, the Palestinian leadership has been given multiple peace offers, including a very generous offer by former Prime Minister Ehud Olmert that offered to withdraw back to the 67 lines. The offer was declined. The Palestinian leadership lost their right to determine how peace is going to look like because they are not interested in peace. They are interested in their interests, wealth and money. They couldn't care less about human rights, about their people, and about peace. Share this video, share the truth.